This is the video for 3420 West 187th Street in Torrance. You'll notice right away a uh, big tree out front between the house and the street, so you'll not want to be mindful of a sewer connection there. Here's your front porch. It's about 3 by 25. You'll notice the wood has a lot of this theme going on. This is your power line going uh, through our other big tree here to the power pole. Uh, this begins an enclosed patio. That's your original home. This is a nice large enclosed patio. I'll give you a brief view on the inside if I can. Oh, it's blocked off. Anyway, that's not to be included in the uh, living area quite yet. Here's the other big tree. Two-car garage that is converted in a way that would suggest it's not done with permits. Let's see if I get over the top view. This is the back of that uh, enclosed patio. Coming to the other part where you can get into the house. This is a functional second bedroom. Again, the theme continues on the wood, such as this. Side of the house, here's your water heater. Here's your rear yard. You got a covered patio, enclosed patio again, outdoor patio here. And then the garage, which is well suited to be an ADU, already has its own covered patio and expandable portion here. This is a 20 by 22 garage. It's currently being used as sort of a man cave. It does have a three quarter bath that looks to be improvised, which is here in the corner. Otherwise there's no other improvements besides the drywall and the lighting. There you go, there's your shower. Nicely tiled, but I don't think it was done with the benefit of permits. Garage door is still on. We'll sink here so you can uh, take this and expand that to this way. The agent has helped me identify the clean out here. It's in the backyard. It was covered with these rocks there. And that's what you would use if you want to check the uh, sewer connection under that big tree in the front. So uh, I'll also show you the electrical meter and the original panel here. So you can tell that's gonna be in need of an upgrade. Again, the power line does go through the tree, so there's that minor issue. I'm gonna go into the house and finish the video there. Starting with the front door. Here's your living room. Front entrance here. We have hardwood here and brick here at the entrance. Hello. Here's your kitchen and uh, dining nook. I'm not gonna get you in the video, you're good. I thought, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that is the door into the enclosed patio. We won't go through that now, but that's one way to get to it. Another view of the living room. That's another door into the enclosed patio. I'll show you that last, because that's sort of the star of the show. Hi, let me switch your places. This is the classic two bed, one bath setup with the bathroom in the middle. This door is locked, but it's assumed to be just like the other bedroom. I'll show you that in a moment. Otherwise, here's your original bathroom here. This has a, an old water heater, uh, wall, uh, wall heater, but these two bedrooms actually have a forced air uh, blower up top that goes to both bedrooms, but not to the rest of the house. So if you're gonna put AC in here, you might as well upgrade the entire system. Here's a closet that goes up against the enclosed patio and you'll notice some unfinished business here. And now we're gonna go into the enclosed patio and end the video there. This is a nice 23 and a half by 15 and a half space, about 360 square feet. 
Again, that's a door into the kitchen. That's a door into the living room. Uh, good enough for a master, or if you took this wall out, you would have an open from the front of the house to the back and expand your GLA significantly. Nice wood beam ceilings. This continues again, another few feet into the bedroom and uh, room to grow. So that'll end, that'll end the video. Thank you.